It pays to know what role do we have in the conflict because that will determine the action we're going to take. Here is a step-by-step guide. Step number one is you identify a conflict, right? Now we need to understand what the conflict is about, but also we need to acknowledge that there is a problem. Step number two is to, of course, remain calm and open-minded because emotions do not help us to act in a constructive way. Then that's where active listening comes into place. Number three, we need to understand the perspective of the conflict. That's where active listening comes into place. Step number four, we need to understand our role. Do we need to intervene? Is this conflict a challenge? that could be solved between the team members and it's probably even healthier for them to solve that or do I need to intervene and mediate the conflict or am I going to be dragged in and I'm going to be one of the participants which is something you not necessarily want to do as a, as a team leader. Five, expanding the dialogue. So making sure that each party has explained their point of view and you understand the situation clearly. Reflect and clarify again. I'm hearing you saying that, can you explain more about this, express your perspective. Now, in this situation, you could express what you see as your perspective and then use phrases that start with I, when I'm talking about we. And, and when you say we, now you're assuming that the other persons and the other individuals involved are actually sharing your perspective. So whenever we're trying to avoid responsibility, we use we, and that's not necessarily constructive, right? So you want to talk in first person, and the statement is to be with I, expressing your feelings, perspective. And again, one of the most important principles in conflict is that if we're talking about ourselves and our experience, it will be very difficult for people to challenge us.